second line days, you may get called out. You really have to wait for the call to be called on this day. You hear me say it's a hermit day. It's a day to do what's natural, what feels uh, normal or easy or fun for you. So the second line is about being visible because yeah, we have somebody dancing in the window, the lights on, everybody outside can see in and you have, you're unaware. Yeah, you're unaware that this is what can be seen. So this is an opportunity for you to get called out potentially. The second line day is all about getting called. It's preparation again. So one of the things to recognize, Ross is if you look at the points in your design where there's the most pressure on you, then you'll see that these transits, now particularly when we talk about Jupiter and Saturn, they bring incredible information. Because if you look back in those cycles, you can begin to see what they're going to bring in the future. So looking back, um, I don't have anything active over here, so it's not something that I can really relate to. But looking back at this time where I noticed, hey, what's going on with my sharing of what I remember and why my voice? Uh, so my personal experience of myself lately, my friends, I don't know what it's like for you, but if you've been watching me in my classes, I've been teaching, I teach every day. I've been teaching with such fervor and power and insistence and this, this energy of like, I don't want to say limitation, but force. There's this, there's this force that's coming out of my voice and thank God my throat doesn't hurt. My thyroid isn't, you know, giving me issues. I feel very powerful during this transit. You know, there's, there's more of this oomph to it. <laughs> so in looking back on this week, I can now know, Hey, every person that I talk to in the future, if they've got, you know, something going on there, like I do Saturn in the 33, um, and line six for me, I know now from personal experience, what I personally experience that Saturn in now, again, it's going to depend completely on their whole design. My other Saturn's up here in this, you know, communication. So they may not experience the same thing in the same way. Of course, I've got us 14. So we've got all this power going up to the throat. So you always preface it with, if you're sharing anything personally, well, this is what it was like for me. I wonder what it's like for you with this and this and this. And I, I tend to project using my imagination. What might that be like? You know, so everybody's going to interpret differently and experiment with this and asking or informing and then waiting to see what they you know, say or note with openness, not with like, this is the way it has to be. That's going to do, serve you much better. It's going to do better when it comes to interpreting these things, sharing what you notice from experience has so much weight to it. And it's so much value. I can tell you when you've had the personal experience of that. Okay. So that was the two being called. <laughs> 